Are rituals important and if they are, to what extent? Well, it depends upon person to person. For some, a ritual like a practice or a discipline can be an important tool to guide them in their spiritual path and in their spiritual practices. And for others, it can actually become a hindrance. Because it is very necessary to understand the reason, the meaning and the purpose behind every ritual before we begin to perform them. If we are not mindful of the purpose and the meaning behind the ritual, then the whole purpose of doing that ritual is lost and it will actually become a hindrance to our um, spiritual practice. I will uh, tell a story to illustrate my point. Centuries ago, there lived a, a guru in India who had a nice ashram. And uh, in that ashram, on a particular day of the week, at a particular time, he would teach a certain meditation technique. A certain meditative practice will happen during that period. His disciples and others from the neighboring uh, towns and villages would come during that time to listen to him. There was only one problem with this arrangement. There lived a cat in the ashram. And during this time, this cat would come and disturb the entire audience. So the guru found a solution to this problem. He told his disciples, please tie this cat to the tree during this session of meditation. So, so it continued to happen that whenever this meditative practice would take place, once a week, the cat would be tied to the tree. After a few years, the guru passed away. the cat still continued to be tied to the tree as and when the meditative practice will happen. A few years more and even the cat died. Now his disciples went and got another cat so that they could tie it to the tree while they were doing their meditative practice. Centuries later, the disciples of the same lineage of the Guru wrote essays and lectures and books on the importance of tying a cat to a tree while practicing this meditative practice. A few years go by and even the ashram died. There was no more the ashram, but the cat still lived in the ashram. One cat, some cat. This illustrates that how once the purpose of a practice is lost, it becomes a meaningless ritual, which has no uh, purpose left in it. And when it has no purpose left in it, it can actually become a hindrance to your spiritual practice. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them on this page. If you would like to ask me a question, please do so. And thank you for watching this video.